Hey, this is Christian and in this video you will learn why tutorials don't work and how they keep you stuck in a job you hate or you just have to grind your hours away for money. It took me six months of watching tutorials to finally realize how to stop procrastinating and how to start building a portfolio. So if you like the idea of living up to your potential by becoming a remote developer, traveling and making six figures writing code from your laptop, then pay attention now because this video is for you. The first reason why tutorials don't work is because they are just made for entertainment. When you start watching tutorials, you start getting comfortable. You just watch and watch and watch. And then there is no moment when you realize or when you say, hey, I'm done with this. Let me get started and build my own thing. There is no moment like that. That will never happen because you are stuck and you are comfortable and you want to learn more. You want to learn more and more and more. But this is because we are conditioned to think that we need to know everything before we get started with anything. But there is something called just-in-time learning versus just-in-case learning. So most people take the approach of just-in-case learning and they binge more content and more content and more content. And then they never get to apply the information they learn because they are too scared to even try. One of the things that I realized in my coaching program, which helps people quite a lot, is that I tell people what to do. And because I tell them what to do, they get on with it and they try to do it. And if they can't figure it out, they start Googling different things, they ask different questions, they get better at asking questions and that leads them to just in case learning. You will see that always, whatever job you want to get, you will not be 100% qualified, you cannot know everything. So that's why you need to develop this ability to have just in case learning. And this is very important. And if you get this concept right, your life as a developer is going to be way easier. Getting to that point where you can start to build applications comfortably is going to come quicker. And then if the moment comes faster, you'll build some momentum and then you start to build more applications and more applications and more and more. Until that point where you pretty much get bored with just practicing around and you are like, okay, let me just apply for jobs. And that's what my clients do. They build stuff until they get bored of it. And then when they get bored of it, that means they are ready to get paid. And that's the point where you want to get to the point where you are bored with knowing the basics of the main technologies you are studying. And then you'll be able to start applying for jobs. It's as simple as that. The other reason why coding tutorials don't work is because you never get any feedback. Getting feedback is something invaluable as a developer. Probably you had other people saying things like, hey, if you want to be good or if you want to be a good developer, you need to have a mentor, right? When you get your first job, you will be having so many mentors. I had a lot of mentors at work and then I stopped having mentors and I started having peers. So I was learning from their code. So there wasn't anyone above me because I was senior like everyone and I haven't had anyone above me after a certain point. But I had people at the same level as me that knew other things and I was learning from them. And that's how you learn by getting feedback, by getting your code reviewed. This is like such an important part of the process and probably you heard my other students mentioning this. But once you get the job, you will have your code reviewed, okay? And this is a standard process and the faster you get used to this process, the faster you'll get at writing better quality code. One of the things that I have noticed with people is that they are afraid to even start writing code in the first place. One of my students was asking me, hey Christian, how can I write less code or how can I write less complicated code? And I said, I cannot create a video that will show you that. I can't do that, it's impossible. The only way to get better uh, at writing code is by continuous feedback and reviews. And after a few weeks and a few months, you'll get better at writing shorter, more meaningful code, which is extremely important. Again, I'm not trying to give you advice that sounds good, that's gonna make you feel good, but these are the staples for building software, for being able to land a dev job. This advice is not sexy at all, I know, but this is the advice that works. You have to be able to jump in and do the thing. And then you have to trust yourself that you'll figure it out. And if you can't figure it out, then you need to ask someone for help. Because if you don't have anyone to ask for help, what are you going to do? Well, you'll spend days and maybe weeks frustrated trying to find the answers on Stack Overflow, on Google. And trust me, that process is extremely tedious. And that process is going to eat your money away. One of the catch-22 with coding tutorials and coding courses, the cheap ones, is that they are free or maybe cheap. Yeah, that's good. But if you value your time, at $50 an hour, which is a decent amount of money for someone's time, then every single hour when you are watching tutorials, instead of building applications, you are literally losing money. You are losing life, you are leaving money on the table, as they say. So that's why I'm encouraging you to stop watching tutorials and start building applications, because that's the only way to learn how to write software. And if you know how to write software, 
that's when you actually kind of get paid to write software because this is a simple equation guys look you get so good that they can't ignore you leave your ego out get so good that they can't ignore you present yourself with a cool application in front of a recruiter the recruiter is gonna say well this looks amazing and your cv says that you have the skills that we are looking for for this new position that we have available i'm going to take a mild risk and i'm gonna put you forward for this new role that we have available so then you go in front of a software development team they will look at your application they will say well is this really something that the junior did let's have a closer look they will look at your github they will look at your project and you'll see that you have a bunch of branches you have a bunch of pull requests you have your code reviewed you know how to use git properly this guy is smart dedicated has a cool product let's hire him and that's what happened with everyone that they that i have worked with it's not it's not a crazy concept what i'm presenting here it's like the reality of life get good put yourself in front of the right people and if you have the right thing for the right opportunity you'll get paid it's as simple as that nothing more nothing complicated so i hope this video made sense to you and if you want to stop watching tutorials and if you like the idea of living up to your potential becoming a remote developer traveling and making six figures writing code from your laptop then i have something for you you can apply for a free consultation call with me or someone from my team and in this call i'm going to show you how to get really good at code really really fast i'm going to show you the exact same process that i have used for my clients i'm going to tweak it for you a little bit but i'm going to show you a process that works and that process that's going to take you from where you are all the way to the point where people will pay you money to write code for them and then you'll start to enjoy your life spend your money the way you want invest in things invest in yourself travel the world whatever you want to do i've done it so i know it's possible if you put in the work and leave your ego out of the way anyway this was christian and i hope you'll have a great rest of the week Peace out.